Good morning, everyone. I'm Carolina Crespi, and I will present this work with the co-author, Miss Georgia Fargetta. The title of this work is a Game Theory Approach for Crowd Evacuation Modeling. This is how it is divided. In particular, I will present um, the introduction and the ANS model. Then I will uh, give the speech to the co-author, Miss Fargetta, that will present the Evacuis Game, the experiments we have made, the results we have obtained, and finally, uh, the conclusion. Uh, so let's start with the uh, introduction. Um, as you probably know, uh, finding a good path is always a desirable task in several situations, such as uh, determining the shortest route between two geographical locations in the study of the social networks, but uh, most important in emergency and panic situations. Why? Because in this situation, people tend to assume different and unpredictable behaviors. We have little or no information about the state of the system, and so it is difficult classical methodologies to, to find uh, the shortest path. In this situation, it is uh, so worth uh, finding an equilibrium that tries to optimize the equation strategy because it has vital importance to human and social harm. So what is our aim? Uh, in this, um, this work, we introduce uh, some new methodologies to study and analyze the collective behavior of a little social group that tries to escape from a disaster situation trying to reach a safe location in the shortest possible time via the shortest route. The methodologies we have used are an end column optimization algorithm to start the dynamic of the agents with, with two different strategies, a game theory approach to investigate how different strategies affect the final payoff of each kind of agent, and NetLogo, that is a programming language and uh, an integrated development environment for uh, the simulations. Uh, so let's recall what end colony optimization and game theory are. Um, the ACO is a probabilistic technique inspired by the behavior of real ends. Real ends are complex adaptive systems that perform complex tasks in absence of centralized decisions, and it is applied to combinatorial and dynamic optimization problems. Why game theory is a mathematical field that deals with the study of strategic interaction among rational decision makers. Decision makers are interdependent uh, adaptive agents that gain or lose some according to their action, and uh, it is applied to biological, economic, uh, social system, but also in the study of uh, ped pedestrian and evacuation dynamics. So uh, what we have noticed is that uh, um, ACO and game theory have uh, something in common. In particular, they have common feature because uh, uh, both ants and people in panic perform simple action and simple social rules in absence of uh, centralized decisions. And they have also similar behavior because uh, uh, people are attracted to go through routes that are most crossed by other people, like, uh, for example, ants who follow pheromone traces. Um, these similarities convinced us to put them together into a unified framework that is the following. We have considered a risk situation in a city, modeled like a planar graph whose topology is unknown, that is a labyrinth. In this situation, a group of agents must find the exit from a certain entrance as soon as possible to survive. Why we have chosen um, a labyrinth? Because most disasters and emergencies that involve humans happen in cities that become unknown for people in panic, because in this situation, they hardly understand how and where to move, just following the others in the crowd to maximize the probability to get safe. Then uh, we have equipped uh, every agent with uh, modified rules of the ACO algorithm. As you can see, uh, the proportional transition rule and the global updating rule are similar to the ones uh, proposed by the Riegel, why um, the amount of, of uh, deposited pheromone in this case is fixed at a value of uh, 1.5. <coughs> uh, so, um, the model, uh, our model consists of a game in which uh, every ant uh, that is an agent can adopt uh, two different strategies to escape from the labyrinth. The labyrinth, uh, as said uh, previously, is a planar graph in which the entrance and the exit are randomly selected among the edge nodes and never on the same side. The exit uh, is uh, the shelter uh, on which are present some prices to be collected by the ants. And if there are no more prices, it will move with the same um, budget of prices to another edge node. While um, about the ant colonies, we have uh, um, considered the two kinds of ant colonies, a non-cooperative one, 
one uh, in which the ants uh, um, damage a random node of their path and a cooperative one in which uh, the ants, uh, if, if find a damage node close to their path, uh, they repair it. In our opinion, this can model what happens in a realistic case in which uh, we can find some people that try to help themselves and other people to reach safe locations while there are other people who just uh, think of saving themselves and maybe due to panic can damage a route, making it, making it impossible to be, to be crossed again. In, if the same route, however, is reached by a cooperative person um, to save uh, himself, uh, he must make it crossable again. So now I will give the speech to um, the co-author uh, Fargetta. Uh, uh, thank you, Mrs. Crespi. Uh, now I present the second part of our article. In fact, uh, I focus my attention on Evaquis game and uh, in the game theory approach because there are some features that are most important and, uh, and are rules, uh, players, strategies and payoff function. In fact, uh, game theory is the study of mathematical model of conflict and cooperation between uh, intelligent, rational decision maker. We have to consider, first, first of all, rules because we have to consider also players and strategies. The players are ants or as Eva Quiz, and the strategies are cooperative and non-cooperative. In fact, for example, the non-cooperative ants damage nodes and uh, they are represented by fires. They are the, the, black, the black nodes that represented dead ants roads and both gain a price if, if they arrive at the exit via a sorted path. And finally, we consider labels on the edge indicates the intensity of pheromone. Uh, we consider a graph that is uh, a planar uh, graph and uh, because the labyrinth is a planar graph and we consider uh, V the set of vertices and L the set of links. We consider N players and greater than two cooperative or non-cooperative. Each player starts from the same node and tries to reach an exit using the minimum path. Uh, a little group uh, of a quiz tries to arrive in a safe area and the safe area have a capacity K, uh, but only one member of the group can reach that place. And finally, we consider a shelter, a new shelter, when this is full or not enough safe, because we have to remember that we are, we are in an evacuation, so in an emergency situation. The payoff function are two, and one is for agent K, which uses the cooperative strategy, AKC, equation number four, and AK and C is the strategy of uh, uh, non-cooperative ants with uh, equation number five, we consider the payoff function of uh, agent K, which uses non-cooperative strategy. F is the percentage of cooperative players, N is the number of a quiz of a group, and the sum over IJ tau IJ is the sum of the pheromone on the links of the agent path. In particular, we have to consider that uh, uh, AK is a generic strategy and uh, A minus K is the strategy of all agents ex except K. Uh, then we group uh, for all K, the cooperative uh, and the non-cooperative, UC and UNC. But in particular, we have to focus the attention on the average of UC and UNC. And finally, we denote the profit function of all the game U uh, equal uh, UC plus UNC. In this uh, uh, experiment, for example, we consider N equal 10 agents and we perform 10 different simulations for different values of F uh, from F equal zero to F equal one and the simulation are repeated uh, a lot of times and increasing F at a regular interval of 0 0.2. For example, we have to focus our attention in uh, uh, one and minus F equal one because when all ants are cooperative, uh, the profit function is higher than when all agents are non-cooperative. And in particular, the color are respectively uh, of the total um, F uh, equal 0 0.2, for example, it's orange and uh, one minus F 
uh, equals 0 0.5 is uh, orange 2 in the second graph. Um, in, this, um, in this graph, we consider the average profit function at different f and 1 minus f, and we focus our attention in uh, the plot 1 minus f equals 0, 0 0.5 and f equals 0 0.5 because they are nearest. And so we consider that when uh, there is a homogeneous factor of f, of uh, cooperative and non cooperative ants, the profit functions are similar. And in this graph, we consider the total profit function u. Uh, it seems to be symmetrical, but uh, uh, they are the outcome of dynamic situation where two kinds of agents, cooperative and not cooperative, uh, act differently. Of course, uh, the effect of these dynamics are affected by the number of the former compared to the latter. And finally, uh, we have to notice again that higher values of the profit function are strictly related to higher values of uh, the parameter f. As a conclusion, we have to consider our innovative expect. The first uh, is that this, it is the first time is used a game theory approach to an evacuation model using ACO algorithm. In fact, ANS colonies are recognized to be the best organized and cooperative social system, able to make their social community work at the best. So that reflects the safety and efficiency of a path chosen by evacuees. And uh, um, also this correlation between ANS and people is another innovative aspect. And finally, the payoff function, where we consider the sum of pheromone and the percentage of cooperative agents uh, to uh, melt uh, better the hands and people. And finally, uh, we have to consider that uh, the results presented are just a small part of a bigger study that is still under work. Thank you for your kind attention.